Welcome back quilting friends. Oh, the honey bun. I think this is one pre-cut that quilters maybe aren't familiar with, aren't aware of, or are aware of and familiar with, but have no idea what patterns and how to use a honey bun in their quilts. For this month, the month of March, I decided to feature a honey bun quilt as my $5 pattern of the month. And I'm also gonna take a little bit of time to talk about the honey bun. I think it's an often overlooked pre-cut that is a really fun one to add to our quilting projects if only we knew how to use it. So stick around. <laughs> The honey bun is a roll of one and a half inch strips and it is basically the little sibling to the jelly roll. Now I know a lot of us are familiar with jelly rolls. These are two and a half by width of fabric strips and they typically include between 40 and 42 strips if they are made by Moda. Honey buns are the same way. They're just one and a half inch strips. We don't see these used as often and they are not released with every fabric collection. They're released here and there, which makes them a little bit extra special in my opinion. Now, one thing you might not know is that once fabrics go out of print, if there is a honey bun in the collection, they are most likely going to be available a little bit longer because they don't seem to sell quite as quickly which works in your advantage if you are trying to find an out of print collection and not having any luck with yardage or some of the other pre-cuts. If there is a honey bun in that collection, you may still be able to snag one, which is just a fun little tip to know when you're looking for those out of print fabric collections. Let's talk about the quilt behind me just a little bit, and then we'll talk a little bit more about honey buns, and I'm going to show you a couple more quilts made using honey buns. So the quilt behind me is my $5 March pattern of the month. It's $5 in my Etsy shop. I have it available in a printed version or a PDF version, whichever works best for you. It uses two honey buns and it uses Springbrook in this sample. Now, before I started filming this video, I did a quick Google search to see which honey buns were available in the quilts I was showing you today. And they were available for all of the quilts I'm showing you today. And I think when you see some of the next quilts, that might surprise you a little bit. But Springbrook, two honey buns. And as of the filming of this video, you can still purchase Springbrook honey buns. The quilt finishes at 71 by 86. And then you'll just need some background fabric, your border, your binding and backing fabric to complete this project. Kayleen Perry did the quilting on this quilt for me and the name of this quilting design is called Feathered Spirals and it is this spiral um, outlined feather pattern which I've used several times and I always think it turns out so pretty on a quilt. I am going to show you the backing here is the large floral print from Springbrook. The binding is the gingham stripe and then the border is the same print as the background, as the backing rather. The background of the quilt is Motabella Solid in the color 9900-200. And I did mention the honey bun was still available, but that doesn't mean that the yardage is still available. So you might be wondering, what do we do when we can purchase the honey bun, but maybe yardages are long gone from the line? With this specific collection, Springbrook, a follow-up, not exactly a follow-up, but a cousin collection would be Buttercup and Slate, which is in quilt shops now. So you could choose any of the prints from Buttercup and Slate to mix and match with a honey bun of Springbrook and that would be that would be a beautiful option for your borders and backing. Oftentimes when you purchase a honey bun, if you can't find yardage available, there would be a collection that would have complementary fabrics that you could purchase to use for backing and borders if you would need to. Another option for this quilt would be to use the Buttercup and Slate collection because it has the same fabrics. It doesn't feature the blue shade, but the same colors as the Springbrook collection, just without the blue. So that would be a really nice substitution for this collection as well. Now, I mentioned some other honey bun quilts 
Let's take a look at some of those. The quilt behind me is called Turnstile. It finishes at 64 by 82, and it uses my Canning Day line of fabric. So one honey bun for the strips that you see spread throughout the quilt, and then a little bit of yardage for these other blocks that you see in the quilt. The quilting on this is called Modern Twist and Kayleen Perry did the quilting for this one as well. The backing is from an older line of mine. It was a 108 inch wide fabric from Lulu Lane and it's no longer in print, but there would be other um, beautiful backing fabrics that you could choose. And then a stripe also from Canning Day. Now with a quilt like this, where you might need some of the prints from the collection, you could opt to do solids in place of some of these um, prints, choose solids that would match your honey bun. And that would be another way that you could utilize a honey bun from an out of print collection where you might not be able to purchase yardage. The quilt behind me I have shared in a recent video in my Holly Berry trunk show video, but it is ribbons all around and it's another example of a honey bun quilt. This one uses one honey bun, plus it uses a little bit of extra yardage for these framed out portions in the center of each block. This would be another great time to use a solid that coordinated with your honey bun. And I shared this up close in that Holly Berry trunk show, so I will make sure and link to that video so that you can see the quilting on this quilt if you wanted to see it up close. The other thing that I wanted to do was finish off with a little bit of honey bun chat. Honey buns work beautifully for log cabin quilts, and that's probably one of my favorite ways to utilize them. So if you love making log cabin quilts, um, courthouse steps quilts, those sorts of quilts, you have the one and a half inch strips already cut, and that's a very um, practical size for those blocks. Now, there are other honey bun quilts, so I am going to make sure and link to some others. I'm gonna do a little Googling and a little searching to see what else I can find. The patterns that I showed are all available in my Etsy shop. The first one, Company Picnic, is the $5 pattern, but the others are available as well at the regular price. So you will find those in my Etsy shop. I'll have that linked below. But I wanted to provide you with some other patterns in addition to what you saw here. So I'm going to do some Googling, a little bit of searching around, and see what other fun honey bun patterns I can find. And I will link to those in the description box as well. Now, if you have favorite ways to use honey buns, maybe you have um, a log cabin pattern that you have used a honey bun for, or maybe you have other favorites, or maybe you just have something you like using them for uh, that you want to let us all know, know about, that would be wonderful. Drop us a comment and let us know the honey bun usages you like, whether that's a pattern or something a little bit different. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will catch you again next time.